he knows that I know that she told me <laughs> I just came so he scalps me right whatever yes daddy change my diaper as I open my eyes I get a glimpse of the bathroom and I see hello and welcome to part two of my insane date story time don't remember what the title of that was but and yes this is my sixth time filming this okay I've had issues I've had so many technical difficulties literally I'm gonna try and only say relevant details but like me trying to only say relevant details pretty much like you're probably gonna get like quite a few irrelevant details but at least it's not just gonna be all irrelevant you know what i mean part one was all about how we met and our first date let's see how could i sum up part two part two is going to be our second date wasn't a date our third date which also wasn't a date and also wasn't planned this is a loaded story my friends so our date was on a friday the weekend passes we had been like talking texting back and forth not like super back and forth because i personally hate texting i would take like a very long time to reply sometimes like a day or two that kind of thing so we weren't having like super like intimate well okay one could say that they were intimate on his end not really like any real conversation he did ask me i think the day after our date if one day next week god what did he say i have the screenshot <gasps> The screenshots are on my other computer. Oh well, I think they're on my phone still. Basically, he was like, hey, let's meet up a day this week. He said that he wanted to make me dinner, I think. I think that was what it was. The week comes and we had, again, still been texting, but like, I take forever to respond. And on Wednesday, he's like, hey, this week got super busy with work. Does Saturday work for you? We can take my dogs to the dog park because I kept saying how I wanted to like meet his two dogs because he has two big ass dogs. And like second date, like if you don't want me to meet your dogs, this isn't going anywhere, sorry. And also like, I'm not interested anymore. So <laughs> go grab dinner and then come back to my house, get high and build a fort or watch a movie or whatever. Yes, like honestly, such a sex. Dogs, food, smoking, weed, building a fort while high. Everything about that was just like, I just came. It's settled then, right? Like that was our plan for Saturday. I don't think we really talked, probably because I didn't reply, I don't know, until Saturday. This whole week I had been cat sitting for my sister and she got back on Saturday. I go over to her place to check on her cat and also she's gonna be coming home. I text him when I get to my sister's house and I say, Hey punk. And he says, Hey cutie, how you doing? And I'm like, I'm good, just got to my sister's for the last time this week. Thank goodness, how are you? And I sent that at like 3.40. Then he doesn't reply for a while, which is like super unlike him because he is like very prompt, like literally is typing like right after I touch send. So at five, I'm like, like, let me know if you still want to hang out tonight. And at that point, I think my sister had gotten home and I was just hanging out with her. We're like waiting also because I probably would have just gone straight to wherever we were meeting. 50 minutes later, he texts. Well, he had called and I didn't answer. And he said, I just left you a quick voicemail and definitely rambled. Just headed home from playing hoops and I'm having dinner with my brother and his wife. I don't think he'll be out too late. If you want to hang, I'll let you know when we're wrapping up. I read these and me and my sister listen to the voicemail together, of course nobody's safe when you have sisters i'm just like he literally didn't even touch on the fact that like we had plans <laughs> like he just is like hey just headed home for playing oops excuse me fine like you you have other <laughs> you have other plans you need to go to dinner with your brother and his wife fine like totally fine but like let me know because he in his voicemail said that like his brother's wife had big news and they invited him to dinner anyway like obviously i'm not gonna be pissed or even care if that's the case and then the fact that he was like don't think i'll be out too late if you want to hang Bruh. I'm with my sister, right? Let's FaceTime him back. I'll just hold my phone in front of you and he'll answer and it'll just be you. Because if you'll remember from part one, this guy knows my sister. This guy was into my sister. My sister also swiped right on him because he's an attractive guy. And of course we would swipe right on the same fucking person on two different dating apps. Neither of us have ever used dating apps and neither of us swiped on like anyone because we're so picky and it just happened to be the same guy, right? Also, he claims that he like rarely swipes right. I digress. They know of each other, okay? And also he knows that I know that she told me <laughs> that he had messaged her. We all are in the know here, okay? We all know. It's a fun time. So we FaceTime him and I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna put you in front of the camera. And he answers and he's driving and there's two giant dogs <laughs> like sitting on top of him. One's like next to him and one's like halfway on him. Very cute, love dogs. He answers and he's like, doesn't really say anything. And my sister's like, hi. And he's like, hey. And I'm just like, does he, okay. Like one of three options here. Either he recognizes her or knows that it's my sister and he doesn't know what to say. Cause he's like, what the fuck am I being trapped? Or he thinks that it's me because mind you, we only hung out this one time. Looks similar to my sister. Like there's differences, but like we look very similar. Or 
I don't know what my third option was. <laughs> I forget. Basically, I'm like, does he know it's not? Does he know it's not me, or does he think that's me? Like, I am feeling awkward, and I had all of these thoughts in the span of like one second, right? I don't even give it any time to like marinate. I just immediately like turn the camera toward me, and we're both in the frame. And I'm like, hi, how you doing? Like with my sister. Mm -hmm. And then from there, we all have like. A conversation. I was gonna leave this part out of the story because it's not like the most exciting part of the story, but it does build a foundation for later, so I'm including it, okay? Look at me thinking critically and logically about what details to include and not just saying everything that comes to my mind. You're welcome. They have now met face to face, phone to phone to face to face, face to phone to They've seen each other on FaceTime. And also I wanted to add that in because it kind of shows you how it was just kind of weird to me that like he didn't even say like, oh, sorry, like I know we had plans, but blah, blah, blah. Cause again, would have been totally fine with it. But he was just like, oh, just got done fucking ball his life. At 10.54, he texts me and says, Hey cutie, just finished dinner. Now, at this point, I'm already home. I'm already not wearing pants. Already in probably like five bowls of popcorn deep. Also, like, I had already kind of told myself, like, on the drive home that, like, I'm probably not gonna hang out with him tonight because I don't want to just go over there super late. Not that, like, I'm not down for a booty call, but, like, I just didn't want to. I was just like, I don't- I don't care. I ended up actually like deep cleaning my whole apartment that night and like editing a whole video. So like, it was fine. I don't reply until 1.22 AM and I'm like, hi, sorry, figured you couldn't hang and I got sucked into editing until now. Not really a lie. Though I did see that he had texted me. I just, I don't know. By like nine o'clock, I did figure like he's probably not, not that he wouldn't want to and he would want to, I mean, come on. No, I'm just kidding. I just figured like they were out late or whatever. The next day at 7.50 AM, he says, I wanted to see you, but dinner ran late and I conked out pretty hard. I figured it got too late. What you got going on this week? I'd like to see you. And I'm like, it's all good. I leave Friday for a few days to go to NorCal, but we should hang out before then if you are able to. Like, honestly, me saying it's all good, like from me, someone who like overcompensates with like niceness and like normally would be like, no, it's totally okay. Like I totally understand you, blah, blah, blah. No, I was, I'm not playing that game. I'm not playing any games, okay? films a video about it. <laughs> me saying it's all good is like, yeah, yeah, whatever. And then my next message saying I'm leaving Friday, but we should hang out if you're able to is like, okay, if we make plans to hang out and we hang out, fine. If we make plans to hang out and he flakes again, like that's just, I'm over it because I'm not gonna be the person that like gives more chances anymore. I'm not, I am not that bitch anymore. There's a fuzz on my ring. I am not that bitch anymore, okay? <laughs> No. And he said, yeah, what's your week looking like? I think Wednesday and Thursday are pretty free. And I'm like, Wednesday works for me. Fast forward to Wednesday. He texts me at 11.30 and says, hey, gorgeous, how you doing? I think it was Tuesday night. I had been texting my sister talking about, we were going to go to this place called Elefante in Santa Monica. And we knew we wanted to go that week. So we were just decided on Wednesday. It was like the only night that really worked for both of us. In my mind, like I hadn't talked to Stewie. I keep forgetting to use his name. It's such a great name. I hadn't talked to Stewie since Sunday when... I was like, I could do Wednesday. And also he didn't reply to that. I said, I think Wednesday could work. And he didn't reply. It was kind of like up in the air at this point. Maybe he did it. I told my sister like, yeah, let's go tomorrow night. Cause she had to work kind of more close to my area. And so it just would make sense for us to go. And I really wanted to. I reply a couple hours later and I'm like, hi, good. How are you? He replies like an hour later, venting to me about work. I had been planning on meeting my sister at like seven and I was out the whole day. I really didn't care too much. And also I kind of figured that like what might happen because my sister and I actually decided to not go to Santa Monica, but instead I was gonna meet her and <laughs> she was working. Fuck. Instead of going to Santa Monica, we decided to meet a beach area where she was working, an area that I love and also an area that Stewie happens to live in. But that was kind of irrelevant. Literally so happened that my sister was working there that day and she like never works there. So I'm thinking like, okay, I'm not even gonna like make plans with him. He may flake. I would rather hang out with my sister. What probably is gonna end up happening is I'll probably just go there after because I'm going to be in his little city area, right? So I meet up with my sister. We are having a few drinks. Honestly, that could be a whole other story. <laughs> oh, so much weird stuff. Oh, sad stuff happened that night too. Not like to us, but like, anyway, that could actually be another story, especially because a couple days after we were at this bar, she like texted me a screenshot of her DMs and she had gotten a DM from this dude who was like, hey, uh, I saw you at blank uh, a couple days ago because he was in the band that was playing there that night. And she was, she screenshotted it to me and was like, do you know this guy? Does he follow you? Cause like, how did he know that it was me? I don't know. And she's like, well, you posted it on your story. So he probably, was looking at the bar story. This is so complicated and so like <laughs> social media. Like he probably like saw her, wanted to know if maybe she posted while we were there and went to their story and saw my story where I tagged 
the bar i tagged my sister like it's very clear we were like the only two blondes there you know and i'm like oh well, that's weird like i mean good detective work but also like mm, okay could have come up to us while we were there but i understand he was in the band i'm like i don't know i'll check and see if he follows me though so i type his name in it says he follows me and then i'm like oh my gosh wait a second so this is a totally didn't even plan on including this in the story but i go to my dm request which i try not to look at ever because it's just a lot and i type in his name there and sure enough he had named me nearly the exact same thing as my sister so that's just like a side story i didn't reply to him i think my sister went back and forth with him for a bit but then she was like eh, he's boring kind of a weird thing maybe he just like didn't know who was who or maybe he just thought we were both attractive who really knows what was going Is my battery flashing oh no i'm gonna cry we are at this bar it's now 8 32 and he texts me hey beautiful just leaving the office blah 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 more venting about work <laughs> and i'm like hi that i'm actually in your city right now at blank the bar with my sister okay quick disclaimer my camera died yesterday i planned on finishing when i came home that night but last night there was like so much noise going on here literally until like 3 a.m so here i am today filming it again right and of course it's sunday and there's like a whole family at the pool and they're like screaming i've been waiting for them to leave they've been there for like five hours i think they're leaving i don't know but i closed my window so sorry if you hear any screaming <laughs> that sounds bad sorry if you hear any screaming children um i don't have them locked up in here definitely not the case don't know what why i would do that i figured you guys would rather have part two sooner than have me wait until it's perfectly silent here because to be honest it's always loud here <laughs> get right back into this so i said i'm glad you're finally leaving work though and he says omg just got out of the best show i'd say i'll come at you for a drink but i'm in my comfies and probably not long for the living world not long for the living world is that like a phrase that I don't know? Because he uses a lot of like old people phrases. You will hear another one later in the story. Okay, first of all, didn't ask you to come meet us for a drink. Didn't want you to come meet us for a drink. I'm having sister time, but how nice of you to assume that. So it's like nine o'clock and my sister wanted to be home by 10, but then she was like, I'll just leave by 10 because she had work super early the next morning. At that point, I realized, okay, she's going to leave at 10 and then I'm going to be in So like, maybe he can come here. So I just reply and I... I let Bug outside for the first- not the first time, but like, I let her go play outside for the first time today and she will not stop screaming at me. So I say come, and he says, I'm pretty cooked from the day, plus I just smoked a little and I'm gonna turn into a pumpkin soon. Again, are you noticing his vernacular here? <laughs> And I just sent back a sad face emoji. Was I really sad? I don't know, probably not. Otherwise, I probably would have said something. So then he says, No, I want to hang. I'm just really tired today and it was crazy stressful. I've been up since 5.30. And then I say, Haha, it's okay. We can hang when I'm back. I did understand that he was like tired and stuff. But again, I was like, Okay, did you not have told me earlier in the day since we like had plans? We had like halfway plans to hang out on Wednesday. Well, actually, we kind of did have plans. Because <laughs> he told me what we wanted to do. Said pick a day this week, Wednesday or Thursday. I said Wednesday. Bitch, it's Wednesday. It is Wednesday, my dudes. So again, it's like the second time that like we had plans. They're just like not even acknowledged. Like I get it. I get like canceling or rescheduling. At least say something. You know what I mean? Did my pop socket just break? What the fuck, dog? This just broke. That's not supposed to happen. What the fuck? He replies and says, this is at 9.30. I want to play. First of all, that's something I say. That's something I've said since I was like 17. And I just reply, well, and he says, you're gonna be at blank with your sis for a while longer? And I say, we're gonna leave in a sec. Well, I feel kind of weird just inviting you over. The fuck does that mean? What does he mean by that? Like he feels weird inviting me over cause it's late? Like, okay. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I just reply with an alien emoji, a skull emoji, and an eggplant emoji. You wanna come over? And I say, Do you want me to, is the question. And he says, Well, duh, but I don't I don't want it to just be like a come over thing, because I like you. You wanna come over? Which really Steve asked me that twice. And then I was like, Haha, well, I'm leaving here, so let me know. He's trying to tell me that he doesn't, like, want me to be a booty call or to feel like a booty call or, like, a piece of meat, an object. And I'm over here, like, Look, I am not your booty call. I am the one trying to hang out with you when you're saying that you're fucking a tired pumpkin, okay? I, this is a booty announcement. Hello, I'm coming over. We're going to fornicate. Thank you for listening. Booty announcement, not a booty call. Then he says, Come on over, I want you. So then I get to his place and he had been watching... I don't know what it was, you guys. It looked like Planet Earth. And I'm like, is this Planet Earth? I can't remember what it was called, but it was like some sort of like dupe of Planet Earth. And I think it was on Hulu, maybe. We go and sit on the couch where I'm guessing he was just sitting and turning into a pumpkin. Oh, 
it, isn't that turning into a pumpkin doesn't that mean like at midnight or is that not related to cinderella at all does that just mean something totally different that i don't know does it mean like i'm gonna turn into a vegetable <laughs> because that's like kind of dark anyway he's like trying to cuddle me and like trying to like kiss my neck and stuff like obviously i know that's what i'm there for but also like i'm a little tipsy and i'm watching this dupe of planet earth this knockoff of planet earth if you will and it's penguins and i like start to get teary-eyed and i'm just like i just love penguins so much i just love animals so much you know like what how do how do we deserve to even share the same space as them like i don't understand you're not oh <laughs> penguins really got me. He finally ends up turning my whole face because I'm like saying all this stuff but like looking straight ahead at the TV while he's like next to me looking at me and I'm just like so we start making out and then he picks me up is holding me like in a with my legs wrapped around him right you know what I mean he's carrying me to his bedroom and we're like still making out but like <laughs> I opened my eyes for a second because we were gonna be walking through like the doorway between like the living room and I don't know like another hallway where there's like a room and a bathroom I thought that I was gonna hit my head so I opened my eyes for a second like just to make sure because I'm not trying to get a concussion as I open my eyes I get a glimpse of the bathroom and I see what I think is a squatty potty. I just, I guess I thought it was kind of more of like a joke than like an actual thing that people have in their bathrooms, right? Mid making out almost to the bedroom because across from the bedroom is the bathroom where I see the squatty potty and I'm like, I pull away from his face. I'm like, <gasps> is that a squatty potty? So romantic. He's like, it is. And I'm like, <gasps> can I use it? <laughs> romantic. He's like, right now. And I'm like, no, 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 like later. I want to use it. He's like, it's the best. Anyway, I just thought that was a funny little tidbit because like I could say I killed a man before I came here and I think we would still fuck. I didn't do my eyebrows. I just remembered. Oh no. Okay, so then we have sex, right? Yeah. I don't even think I would have included this part in the story. I would have just said like, yeah, and then we met up again on Wednesday night and then moved on to the next day, but I had to include it because like funny things happened. So at the very end, as he is about to release potential children. Oh my gosh, bug. So as he's about to come, right? Am I allowed to say that word? Who fucking knows? I, he, I'll put a picture in of what I looked like that night just so you have like a reference of what I'm talking about, I guess. Because also, fun thing, I was wearing this bodysuit that had like, the, oh, I vlogged this day and it had like the seat belt. I think she just got here, so. My top has like buckles on it. <laughs> but it also had a snap on the vagina area. That was kind of fun and fresh because like we had two options of how to take it off. We ended up having to like do both of them because like it wouldn't go over my butt and then like it wouldn't go over my boobs. So we had to like do the seatbelt and then do the snaps and he was like, I feel like I'm changing a baby's diaper. <laughs> this is everything. Yes, daddy, change my diaper. Honestly, like taking a baby out of the car seat and then like changing their diaper. Okay, I'll stop. That wasn't even the funny part, but just funny because I had a fake ponytail clipped into my hair. Well, real hair, but not mine. As he's about to finish and they we're doing doggy. <laughs> He wraps his hand around the top of my ponytail, holding it almost at the top as he finishes. <laughs> Fuck, baby. He's like, Fuck, baby. And he, he pulls my ponytail, like, as he is, like, his final thrusts are happening, and he's, like, finishing. That ponytail rips off and is in his hand. He thought he scalped me. Imagine the feeling of thinking you literally just ripped someone's whole ponytail off of their head and every hair came out of their scalp and you're holding it in your hand. I probably traumatized him. He shrieked when he ripped off my ponytail. I said like, oh, it's extension. He was like, oh my God, I thought I scalped you. <laughs> I should have just like not told him and then been like, you're so paying for like me to get a hair transplant and like a bunch of lace front wigs. So he scalps me, right? Whatever. Then, and this is the reason why I gave him the name of Stewie, just like the first night. Oh, did I not even include this in part one? I don't think I did because I was like worried about him seeing it. So I'll just throw it in right here in the middle. The weird thing about the first night, the first date was that like it went so well right like and everything was going great and i mean there was like crazy weird things that happened during it but not like not weird just like crazy and like weird coincidences and stuff i was gonna go and i think i mentioned that like i was planning on just like getting dressed and calling my uber because like i wanted to go but he like wanted to cuddle me like wouldn't let me go for like an hour and i would like try to get up and he'd be like no just five more minutes no, no, no. Like, his voice, like, dramatically changed into a baby voice. And he started saying, like, he just started, like, talking like a baby. 
You can't go outside right now. I just need to, I just need to snuggle. Just five more minutes. Just five more minutes. And like literally like squeezing me so tight. First night he like didn't want me to go. I mean I'm skipping over a lot here. But like basically the way that I could leave is because he was like, I just want you to stay, like spend the night here, blah blah blah. And then he was like, Well, how about you come back tomorrow and stay the night? I'm like, okay, well I can't come back tomorrow if I don't leave right now. And he was like, Good point. And then I Ubered home. <laughs> right, now that you know that, after this time, I kind of assumed that it was gonna be like that again, but also I knew it. it's like a week day so i know that he has work early and i know that he wakes up super early to like go running so i was like maybe it won't be like that i mean it wasn't super late it was probably midnight but like so late for someone that wakes up at five that he was like just stay here and then like you can like when you leave in the morning you can walk up and blah 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 and i'm like no like i have a kitty she's been alone i need to leave and he's like okay we'll just like cuddle for a second <laughs> okay I am fuck. So he turns on Family Guy, right? And we start watching Family Guy. That's the reason I gave him the name Stewie because <laughs> he just kept saying all of Stewie's lines as he said them. Like, no one else, just Stewie's. It's like when someone is singing along to the song and you're just trying to listen to the song. No, he was saying all of Stewie's lines. <laughs> he gives me his shirt to go home in because I had been wearing that complicated ass thing and I didn't want to put it back on. So he gives me like a shirt, which I still have because I haven't really seen him. I mean, there's another incident. Trust me, there's another incident. He already had known that I was going to be going to up north for the weekend but again he asks me like oh, what are your plans for saturday what are your plans for this weekend and i'm like dude like i'm going up north i'm going home to like see my family and stuff and he's like oh yeah yeah that's right that's right damn i'm literally now thinking like this could be three parts but like friday morning he texts me what are the odds i live here what are you doing here he was staring at your ass for the longest time when you walked past him right when i get into my apartment this is a familiar feeling when i was talking with stewie and his friends he came over it seemed like his main mission in like coming over was like to check up on my drink at the time i wasn't like this is weird i got roofied by someone who follows me 